Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't shave first. <sighs> Look away, I'm hideous. Anyways, howdy neighbors, David here. Da, 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 da. And today on Boondock Stallions, we are finally, finally, finally here for the premiere of Spider-Man No Way Home. Now before we get started, go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and get ready to throw your comments and spoilers down below. Let me know what you thought of the movie if you've gone to see it. I've got... Uh, as of right now, while I'm filming this, I have about five and a half hours before the movie actually starts. Uh, I'm gonna go shave, shower, get my hair all nice and prettied up, and go to the theater uh, in San Antonio with some friends of mine, and I'll be doing a uh, post-movie review, interview some of my friends on camera, get the whole thing going nice and nice and neat. Um, but I have a couple of last-minute theories before we get started, right? Okay, so... I have been off the internet, off of, I've disabled Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, my YouTube app. I literally can foresee that when I upload this video, I'm going to have to do it out of my peripherals to get up to all the upload prompts and all of the thumbnails for other video breakdowns and spoilers that are going to be all over my feed when I log back in. So um, I haven't had any spoilers or anybody ruin it for me, so I have a couple of last minute theories that I would like to go out. But if you're not familiar with the Super Carlin brothers, they have a theory that Uncle Ben uh, in Tom Holland's universe would have actually had Tobey Maguire's face. And I leave, left a card up there for you to click on after the video if you want to. Um, and check them out. I love those guys. They always have something good. But um, my thoughts on it were, I really, I do like the idea that Tobey Maguire could have been Tom Holland's Uncle Ben in that universe because different variants and different multiverses have uh, different faces, and we all know how that works out. So, um, my theory is that Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is going to be there, and he's only going to be there for one very specific reason. Now, from all the rumors I've heard from one from a comicbook.com uh, uh, and a few other sources on Reddit and YouTube, there are many theories that I'm pulling from, but there is one theory that, uh, and Tom Holland himself said in an interview that, his Spider-Man goes darker than we've ever seen him go before. And my thoughts on that were, would Green Goblin kill somebody close to him and would Peter go far enough to beat Goblin within an inch of his life? And my thoughts on that are, yes, would Goblin go to both? Because uh, in the original Spider-Man movie with uh, Tobey Maguire, Green Goblin went after Aunt May first when he found out that Peter Parker was Spider-Man. And as soon as he realized that he was in love with MJ, he went right after her as well. And so my thoughts on this are, who is Green Goblin gonna kill, MJ or Aunt May? And it could be either one, both of them would be just as devastating, but I feel for him to truly lose it, it would have to be Aunt May because he's already lost his parents and Uncle Ben and um, Tony Stark, so this would be the last loss for him to push him over the line. And we know from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies that Peter does have a dark side and hopefully he won't go all emo like uh, Tobey Maguire did. But um, it would be something to see Tom Holland lose face and lose control and beat Green Goblin within an inch of his life. And this is where Tobey Maguire Spider-Man would have to pull him back. And the only reason that I want Tobey Maguire to pull him back is because it's at this point that he would have to tell him, you know, just because you could beat the Green Goblin up doesn't mean you should. With great power comes great responsibility. And I feel like that would finally, finally bring that line of dialogue to the MCU because I'm sorry, but Martin Sheen dropped the ball into an uh, eager waiting mouth because his delivery was just awful. Just awful. That whole, he had a code, a philosophy he lived by. Responsibility. Blah, 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 blah. And then it got even worse with Tom Holland. Oh, my dear Lord. Tom Holland was like, when the bad things happen and you can do something about it, but you don't, it's your fault. It's like, it's like, it's like they're just trying to twist the knife into my side with this awful, awful, awful dialogue. And so having this multiverse event would be a beautiful way for Tom Holland to get that beautiful line of dialogue from uh, Tobey Maguire. And I'll say this as well. If it's true that T Tobey Maguire was the face of Uncle Ben in Tom Holland's universe, then by proxy, Tobey Maguire would give Tom Holland's Spider-Man 
this information from Uncle Ben as Uncle Ben because there's no Uncle Ben to do so. Major meta moment. Uh, my other theory, um, th theory B, and this is an awful one, is that Toby and Andrew aren't going to be in the movie, but their universes will be, for the most part. What if we get a glimpse of a universe that is exactly, exactly like the Raimi-verse and exactly like the Amazing Spider-Man universe, but they've got Tom Holland's faces? It'd be a cop-out. It'd be a horrible one. I really hate my brain for putting that together. Like, bad brain. Bad David brain. Um, but let me know what you think down in the comments, because that's also a possibility. To, I mean, it'd be a lot cheaper than having to pay Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, although I'm pretty sure it probably wouldn't cost that much, if we're being really honest. Anyways, have a good night, y'all. See you tomorrow. Be excellent to each other, and party on dudes.